What do you call group of fat babies? Heavy infantry. Today, I'm going to recap a 2023 action crime film called Ghosted. The film begins with a young girl named Sadie cruising the outskirts of Washington, D.C. when suddenly she receives a call from a person named Dr. Yates. The conversation revolves around someone's unexpected death, and Sadie expresses her sorrow. She admits to feeling distraught since the girl's death, even though they were not close. She feels a connection because they were the same age, had similar jobs, and even their homes were identical, both cold and empty. Dr. Yates consoles her, promising to check in with her soon. Then the scene shifts to a market where a man named Cole Turner operates a small stall. Recently abandoned by his girlfriend, he shares this secret with a woman named Edna, who unfortunately spreads the gossip. Edna, who has a plant stall, leaves Cole in charge while she steps out for a smoke. During her absence, Sadie, the girl from earlier, enters Edna's stall and begins perusing. Cole notices and approaches Edna's stall to inquire what Sadie wants. She selects a plant but worries about caring for it due to her frequent travel. Cole hesitates to sell it, fearing she will kill the plant, leading to an argument. When Edna returns, she resolves the dispute by charging Sadie $10 for the plant and Sadie departs. After Sadie leaves, Edna urges Cole to ask her out. He follows her to the car and, though initially reluctant, invites her for coffee. Sadie, surprised by the offer following their disagreement, declines but then changes her mind. They spend the day together, visiting various places, learning about each other's lives. Sadie, an art curator, travels globally, while Cole is writing a book about farming plants. They continue to converse about diverse topics, including horror movies. Sadie reveals that she chooses not to be scared, recounting a story of escaping her country on a raft with her brave mother. This inspires her to be courageous, and nothing frightens her now. Their time together extends into the night as they go to a bar where Sadie sings. Though invited, Cole is too shy to join her. She confides in him that she needs a companion like a cactus, one who doesn't require constant attention, as she's often out of the country. Currently, she feels alone, and her life seems unfulfilling. Together, they continue to explore their new friendship, bonding over shared experiences and aspirations. The scene shifts, and we observe them making out, clearly indicating an intimate connection. When he walks her home, they engage in a passionate and wild romantic encounter. Later, he returns home and informs his parents about her, who are thrilled, but his sister Maddie warns that he's likely to mess it up, as he tends to get overly enthusiastic. He shares with his family that she might be the one, and although his mother acknowledges his tendency to get carried away, they are supportive of him. In the following days, he repeatedly texts her without receiving a response. His father speculates on various reasons for her silence, but Maddie asserts that Sadie has simply ghosted him. Then he recalls leaving his inhaler, which has a tracker, in her purse. Checking its location, he discovers she's in London. Encouraged by his parents, but against Maddie's advice, he decides to surprise her in London. Upon arriving in London, while tracking her location, he ends up in a dark alley and is kidnapped. He finds himself in what appears to be a lab filled with dangerous insects used for torture. The interrogator repeatedly refers to him as the tax man, while Cole insists he's just a farmer. Just as he's about to be tortured, Sadie bursts in with a rifle, shooting everyone. As they escape and alarm sound, he's stunned to discover that she's not an art curator but a CIA agent. They engage in a firefight, with Sadie arming him as well. He doesn't shoot but helps in taking cover. Emerging from the cave, we find out they're in the Khyber Pass, Pakistan. As they attempt to leave in her jeep, they're attacked by local security forces. They commandeer a bus at gunpoint, leading to a lengthy chase. Some soldiers manage to board the bus but Cole uses his school wrestling skills to take them down. During the chase, she accuses him of stalking her after their night together, and he counters that he intended it as a romantic gesture. They successfully take down all pursuing vehicles and bikers, but the bus breaks down. She informs him they'll have to walk. The scene then transitions to a cave where a man named Levek, the true mastermind of the mission, demands a passcode from the tax man. Believing Cole to be the tax man, he offers a million dollars to anyone who can bring him in. 
setting the stage for even more intrigue and action. In the meantime, Sadie and Cole arrive at a place called Mingora, where she meets a man named Marco, who appears to be an influential figure there. Upon meeting her, he kisses her, and they proceed to discuss a biochemical weapon named Aztec, capable of wiping out the eastern seaboard. Sadie reveals that her primary goal at the cave was to obtain Aztec, and Cole was a secondary concern. She asks Marco to arrange a safe flight back to America for Cole, and he agrees. It's revealed that Marco and Sadie used to date, as they are in the same profession. As Sadie leaves, she instructs Cole never to contact her again, but moments later, Marco is shot dead by a man named Eve, who abducts both Sadie and Cole at gunpoint. Eve, calling himself the grandson of Sam, is suddenly attacked by another man, the Leopard, sent by Levick. The Leopard instructs Sadie and Cole to accompany him, but he is then killed by another individual calling himself the Lion, who orders them to continue driving. After the Lion is also killed, Sadie and Cole manage to escape. While in the car, Cole tells Sadie that they repeatedly asked him for the passcode, leading her to realize that they can't use Aztec without it. She confesses that she killed Edna, a recent co-worker, who encrypted the passcode and was a traitor working with the enemy. After this revelation, she punches and knocks Cole out. The next scene shows Sadie acting as a bounty hunter, delivering Cole to Levex men, claiming he is the tax man with the passcode. Once they board a plane, she is promised payment upon landing. The decision is made to torture Cole for the passcode, with Levex's right-hand man, Wagner, in charge. However, they discover a picture of Sadie and Cole together in bed, leading her to declare that she is the tax man with the Aztec passcode on the plane. She then attacks them all and knocks Wagner out instantly. A fight ensues with another man, whom she kills by snapping his neck even after he stabs her. Meanwhile, Cole uses his wrestling skills to defeat another man. Sadie instructs him to jump from the plane with Aztec and a parachute, but he refuses to leave her and grabs her as they both jump from the plane. Six hours later, they find themselves on Socotra Island in the Arabian Sea. Cole tends to her wounds, drawing on his knowledge of plants. The next morning, they engage in another passionate encounter before being attacked by Wagner and his men. Fortunately, Sadie had sent her location to the CIA and her team arrives just in time, killing some of Wagner's forces, adding yet another twist to this thrilling narrative. However, Wagner manages to escape with Aztec, leaving the CIA team frustrated. The scene then shifts to the CIA headquarters, where Sadie and Cole are interviewed by a man named Monty Jackson. An argument erupts between the two when Sadie states that saving Cole was a mistake as she lost Aztec in the process. This statement deeply offends Cole. They are connected to line detectors, which continually signal a sexual tension between the two, prompting Jackson to jokingly tell them to get a room. Sadie later meets her boss, Dr. Yates, who expresses disappointment in her and warns her that her job could be in jeopardy. In the meantime, Jackson speaks disparagingly about Sadie to Cole, who continues to defend her. When Jackson calls her a killer and a liar, Cole notices a plant in a photograph, identifying it as the one used by Edna to figure out Aztec's password. They immediately decide to retrieve this plant from her apartment and plan a mission to take down Levek, fearing he will relentlessly pursue Cole and endanger his family. Cole agrees to assist them, despite Sadie's warnings that they are merely using him. He retorts that they are doing the same with her. As Sadie leaves the CIA headquarters, Cole begins working for them. Meanwhile, Mr. Utami, the man who hired Levek to obtain Aztec, demands it immediately. Levek assures him it will be available soon. They decide to meet Taxman Cole and strike a deal. If they get the password, all is well. If not, Utami threatens to kill Levek instantly. They arrange a meeting at a mall, but Cole's team is killed, and he is told to flee by the dying Jackson. Cole chooses to stay, confident that Sadie will come to his rescue. He is joined by Utami and his men at a table, and Levek reveals that they have Aztec but need him to open it. Cole plays the role of a traitor, demanding wealth in exchange for cooperation. Levek, however, remains skeptical, having seen through Cole's ploy. As he anxiously waits for Sadie, she finally arrives. 
Cole then informs Mr. Utami that she is the real tax man and holds the passcode. Utami sends her the money, and she opens the case containing Aztec. When the case is opened, Levek attempts to kill her, only to discover that he is surrounded by bounty hunters hired by Sadie. The twists and turns continue in this intricate narrative, keeping the audience on the edge of their seats as the plot unfolds. A shootout ensues and Sadie manages to seize Aztec just before she and Cole take cover under a table. For a time, they cooperate in fighting off their enemies, but they soon become separated. Cole finds himself engaged in a one-on-one -on -one battle with Wagner, while Utami orders Levek to evacuate. Levek, however, shoots Otami instead. Wagner and Cole move into the control room, filled with large machines, which are accidentally activated during their skirmish. Suddenly, the entire building where the others are engaged in combat starts to rotate, creating even more chaos. In the midst of this turmoil, Levek and Sadie are locked in a separate gunfight. Cole manages to kill Wagner and returns to the hall, just in time, to see Levek about to finish off Sadie. Despite his intervention, Levek gains the upper hand and takes possession of Aztec. In a desperate move, Sadie shoots the ceiling above Levek, causing it to collapse on him. He is crushed to death, leaving Sadie in control of Aztec and Cole safe. The two share a kiss, and Cole compliments Sadie on her appearance in her black dress. The scene then shifts to a more peaceful setting, where Sadie and Cole are dining with his family. His parents are delighted to have her over, and Maddie is equally impressed by her. As they recount their harrowing adventures, the sense of camaraderie deepens. Three months later, the story finds Cole and Sadie in a committed relationship, enjoying success in their respective careers. In an unexpected twist, Cole opens the trunk of their car to reveal a man inside, his mouth taped shut. Sadie informs him that the man is an arms dealer, and the two head off on their date, suggesting that their life of excitement and danger is far from over. The intrigue continues to unfold, hinting at more thrilling episodes to come in their adventurous partnership. If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button, and if you disliked it, hit the dislike button twice, just to be sure. It would be best if you watched the whole movie. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.